Hello and welcome to another episode of the Ableton Live 9 Quick Tips. This one is for newbies or a reminder for everyone else. And I want to talk about saving presets. We cannot only use all the live devices as they are, but we can also make our own presets and we can save them, not just within the live set, but within the user library. So for example, I've got a little instrument rack here that I've been uh, adjusting the parameters for. And uh, I like it how it is now and I want to save it. And uh, what we can do is simply click here on this little floppy disk icon that we can find everywhere. So this would save the instrument rack itself. This one would just save the simpler and so on and so forth. So let's just do this. And as we can see here, it creates a little file under user library presets, instruments, and then instrument rack, because this is an instrument rack, and we can now choose a name. And it's safe, and we can use it in any other live set that we want. And the thing is, um, for example, this one is a preset that I had already saved, now it's just tweaked. So this time, the only thing that is saved is the actual ADG file which is really tiny in, in size. So it doesn't really matter if you just make your own presets, for example, of live devices, it'll be really tiny and you have a good library of interesting presets, not just for instrument racks or instruments, but also for MIDI and audio effects. And yeah, we could just keep going and just make other interesting presets out of that and just keep saving them. And uh, one thing is you don't actually have to keep this preset in this folder to be recognized. So I could just, for example, drag it elsewhere. I personally have a, a folder called Bloom where I have everything. It made sense for me because, you know, it's actually the first one that turns up on push as well when I want to choose something from the user library. So you can also create your own order to organize everything, to have quick access to something. Like for example, you could create a favorites folder. And um, yeah, I can simply take this and just drag this over here. Now it would be in here. Maybe we could put that in bells. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you next time. Bye. If you're new to Ableton Live or Push, then check out my online video courses. More information can be found on my website, sonicbloom.net slash courses.